Peace, peace. It's the touch in this one. And we back at it again, y'all. You know, um, you know, I did a couple videos like this showing you the true Aborigines of North America. And, um, you know, I get a lot of backlash all the time. You know, a lot of Afrocentrics as well as a lot of these immigrants always come on my page and always telling me, um, you from Africa. Oh, the first um, Africans came here was the Omex and all this shit or whatever. Um, I don't believe none of that. I don't believe none of that. I don't, and I definitely don't believe we are these Native Americans. We are not no fucking Native Americans with no two braids in our head. Because most of our family is from the South. So in the South, from Virginia, you know, and, and this, this is just a theory that I put together, okay? And this is what I honestly think will really happen. And, and, you know, if anybody got any insight or whatever, you know, I'm not with, you know, I got literature, but... I don't have time to be shooting all them videos, no hour, two hour videos or whatever, all the time. So, you know, I just try to keep it straightforward. I'm coming, I'm showing you what they got. I'm not showing you what I created or what I think. I'm showing you what they got and you guys need to put this stuff together so you can learn. Okay? Now look, here we go, y'all. Now once again, we got these Negro slave posters right here, right? Now, look, man. I know a lot of you guys are smart, man. I know a lot of you guys are intelligent, but you just don't want to believe the truth because you really don't want to believe that you've been lied to or whatever. But why wouldn't they lie to you? If they did all this, his, this, all this horrible shit to you, why wouldn't they lie to you about who you are? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? If they fed you the alligators and fed babies the alligators, ripped babies out of um, people's stomach, enslaved you, um, outcast you, put drugs in your community, put AIDS, all these, why wouldn't they lie to you? Why wouldn't they lie to you? And the sad part is you got a lot of us, we wasting time arguing about who we are instead of you people just looking at the pictures and understanding that these are not the same Indians that we've been showed. These, who are these people right here? Now check this out, this is a slave poster. So right now we think that these people right here came from Africa, right? So, you know, we got these posters right here, right? See, now look. Now, when I'm a, when I'm gonna show up, when I'm gonna point out to you is just something simple, and I, I'm not I'm not gonna go into literature. You already know what the definition of the word American means. You know that the, the Native Americans are not Aborigines, nor do they consider themselves to be copper. Now, some idiot will come on here and will say, "Well, copper is a derivative of red." Man, okay, okay, okay. Like I said, man, look look at most African Americans, and they go they go your so called Aborigines. We're not Native Americans, okay? We're not Native American. And the thing is this, right? All right, so look. So look. See the same grass skirt, the same so-called um, crown, um, feathered crown. This is what I call it. I don't know what it's called. But this is what I think what the natives bit off of when they made the war bonnet. They made the war bonnet trying to make it similar to what the Aborigines was wearing. So you see the grass skirt. So we would be told that these people was from Africa, right? Okay. We're told that oh these look they got the same grass skirt on with the same with the same um with the same feather help with the same feather crown okay now let me just show you something hold up let me see if I can find that first all right you know what we're gonna do it like this we're gonna go right into my pictures we're gonna go right into the pictures all right says America right here right. Now, I can't really read. It's a little too small for me to read. But this clearly says America. We clearly see what we consider as a... a um, this is like a queen. This is definitely like some type of queen or some type of royalty. Look at her. She don't look like no European, nor does she got a lot of hair like the so-called mongoloids. Okay? So now, she don't have a lot of hair like the mongoloids. She don't have two braids in her hair. She don't have straight hair. Okay, all right. So now, let's keep going. Here we go. We got more images of that same feather crown and the same grass skirt. Okay. We got more images of this. Okay. We got more images of the same grass skirt and the same feather crown. I mean, or the same um, feather or leaf crown or whatever you want to call it. The same as this. We got the same exact thing. Okay. Now, people, use your brain, man. 
use your brain because this shit is not that difficult to understand okay these people do not look like native americans man and the thing about it is this look more images virginia tobacco let's, let's get into this man, man because like and this is this is i'm gonna this is my last video i'm doing on this right here man you know i'm gonna keep on doing my aboriginal videos but look man if you people don't understand this shit right here man then you ain't gonna never understand so what i got out of this is this right I did the story about Power Hotton in Virginia, you know, and why I did the story about Power Hotton because this is where they say the first slaves came to in Virginia in 1619, which I know that that is a freaking lie. When the Europeans came back here, their mission was to enslave the people of the Virginians and go to war with them. That's why you see all these images. Now you would now you would believe somebody would tell you that this was an African slave, and these are the people who brought them here. No. These are the people after Chief after Chief Smith went back to Europe, Europe and they, I believe they killed him or whatever. These people came back with full vengeance and they came back to the Virginians and they took over the tobacco and they the people of the land they enslaved after Powhatan either died or they killed Powhatan because we know that they did capture Pocahontas. I don't believe that he gave his wife up to these Europeans because after the way that po the way that the logs and, and what the literature that I got, the way Power Hotton, Power Hotton really didn't trust these people like that. Because these people was dipping dabbing with the other tribe. The other tribes did not like like it's just like right now. If you get somebody just like the coin tell pro, this is the same thing Europeans do right now. They go around and do the same coin tell pro as they did all the time. They go into these lands, meet the native people, befriend them, and then cross the other native and take over them and then say promise them land. And then once they promised them, man, they crossed them. So let's get with this shit, man. So we know, same, look, same image, same image, same thing I saw. The only thing they did was remove his, and remove his crown off his head. So more images. They came back and enslaved the people of Virginia. These are not slaves from Africa. How do you figure like this? How do your opinions know what tobacco is unless the in, unless the in, in, the aborigines are showing them what tobacco is? Ain't nobody just gonna go to no land and just pick up a plant and start smoking it. There's no tobacco in Europe. There's no tobacco in Europe. They're not showing you no Native Americans on these um so-called um plantations. I know they take pictures, but there was no um there was no Snapchats or no snapshots or no screenshots or none of that shit back then. So we have to go off these pictures that will be got. Okay, so, you know, I mean, I can make a dozen videos about this, man, because there's so much information. They go power hot again with the same grass skirt and the same uh, feather crown as we've seen here. Now, look, look, here we go again. You see this? He got the same thing that the so-called that power hot had on. So my thing is this, right? Why are we not? Why are we so naive to this? Look, the Incas got the same grass skirt on and the same feather crown. Okay, keep going. This Brazil, but they ain't got the feather crown. But you see that they ain't got no, they ain't got no straight hair. They ain't, you obviously that they got long, they got short hair. They ain't got no straight hair like the so-called Native Americans that we always claim to be. Okay, look, Virginia. They go another picture of Virginia. Look, this is a sister right here. This is a sister right here. This is a little black aborigine baby. And they go another aborigine right here. This, this is not an Indian. This is an aborigine. Okay? Just keep going, man. More aborigines. America. More aborigines. America. More aborigines. Here we go. More. Peru. More aborigines. You see the feather crown. I mean, you see the the same type of tribal wear he got on his head. Here we go. More aborigines. Same thing. Poor gray, power gray, or whatever. We got the same feather crown on right here. I think this is what they was wearing throughout. My favorite picture. I know this Martinez first picture of the book, which a lot of you idiots always want to sit there and say, "Oh, just a picture." This was this this picture is from the 1500s. This was before any picture that out, that's out. Now my thing is this. My thing is this. This is not a Native American. This is not a Native. This is not a Native American. This is not a Native. American. These is all black people. These are all fucking black people. And then we got images of Europeans carrying this. 
See, no one want to answer to this. No one want to say what the hell this picture is about. Because this is how we was living prior to the, the Europeans came here humble. And then what they did was they always scheming and conniving like they do now. They never want to let people be them. They want to always come and then try to make something. They always want to alter what the people, what the indigenous people was doing. Just like, um, just like, you know, a lot of people, you know, they come here and they believe that they're American. How the fuck could you be American when you just left a fucking other country? How? How? America is a bloodline. America is not no motherfucking piece of paper that you can just change your, your um, identity when you want because the European want to do that. You see, the European, he goes around the world and, and say he's a South African. Well, say he's a Nigerian. Say he's a, a, a Southern, um, uh, you know, South African or whatever. He the only one who want to be in all these places and then try to say, oh, I was born here, so I'm one of you now or whatever fuck out of here people are so idiot so idiotic man and more pictures of new york like and i keep showing y'all these same images because maybe one day this stuff will soak in your head why do the people they showing you of the land with bow and arrows with the same grass um with the same grass and feather or so-called feather um crown on why do they look like the damn slaves man why do they got the same thing on these people got on you tell me why just tell me why. None of y'all got no explanation for this because you y'all gonna come up with oh them out of Africa. Alright, you just all you just wanna say is that these is Africans and I'm showing you massive pictures of Aborigines. And this is the picture I got. These are images of Moors captured in Europe. Okay. These are more images of Aborigines that was brought from North America to Europe. This is in Europe right here, bro. And the thing about this is, okay, you got the same feather crown on that the slaves got on. This is in Europe. Why? If they took Native Americans from America to Europe and Spain, why don't you see any Native Americans in there? Why don't you? Why don't you see people who they keep showing you these traditional Native Americans because they lying, bro. All the pictures of the Native Americans are, are like from the 1800s. These pictures are from when they bought people. Why do they got this Indian engraved in the building in Europe? Come on, man. Y'all got to start asking. So why don't he got two long braids or a, 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 a war bonnet on like the so-called Indians that they keep showing us? That's a let me go to. Oh, here we go. All right, as you know, this is the Queen Empress Verdine, um, Washington, Washington, Turnica. This is Turnica Bay. And this is the sister from the Washington's. And anybody want to say, oh, well, oh, that was special. She got her land, bro. She already got her land. So y'all can sit there and say she was bullshitting or she was lying about whatever. She got her land already. Okay? Montex Zuma Rex. Same thing on. Same feather crown. Same grass skirt. Okay? Americans. This is Herman D. Santos. They say the first recorded European contact with the people of the Cherokee Nation was with the Spanish um, explorer. Herman D. Santos, when D. Santos landed in Florida with his um, soldiers in the 1539. I think um, Varizano came before that. Because I think Varizano, he went to the Carolinas before Herman D. Santos. So no more, you know, like I tell you, no more all, like I don't fuck Columbus. Columbus is a, you know, everybody talk about Columbus because somebody wanted him to be big in history or whatever. But he's not the ones that you want to study if you looking for North America. See, we're not looking for the Caribbean because we already know the story of the Caribbean. So, you know, um, I'm looking for North America where my people's at. We can tie all that in. As we go along, because we know people took it from here to Caribbeans, from Caribbeans to here, so we already know. So more images of the so-called Aborigines got them same chains on, um, shining, got you know same headband, head cover, shit. That this is nigga, this is stuff that um indigenous people wear or, or Negroes wear. You understand? So let's see.
more images. When they came here, these ain't, look, these are Indians, right? But why don't they got long hair like the um, so-called Native Americans? Why don't they have long hair like the Native Americans? Why they got, why they showing you these same little afros or whatever? And people are like, oh, them slaves. Yeah, all right. They got more images. Some more images of Virginia. Smoking, got his little grass skirt on, got the same crown feather that we've seen, just like we've seen the people in Europe. Um, Indian Queen, the, the people behind the brothers, I guess them two two men, I assume, or whatever, grass skirt, same feather crown on. America, okay? It says America, okay? This is not a Native American. Okay, it's not. It's not a Native American. This is a. This is the Aborigine who've been classed. This is an African American who've been classified the Aborigine. When have you ever seen Native American look like that with short hair? And it looked like she had a hair curl back then. This is funny. This, I'm just touching on that. More indigenous people with the same feather crown on. Here we go again. All right, now I don't know what tribe this woman came from. I believe that. When they let these people came coming to the tribe, they wouldn't let them wear the same feather crown to where they only gave them one feather or one um so-called, you know, because this is why I start seeing them one feather or whatever. But look, these are all images of Europe, okay? And it says America, American, well, whatever. They say it's in, I guess that's in French or whatever. Um, but nonetheless, though, look, these are engraved in the damn buildings in Europe, okay? These are the images of what the so-called Indians looked like when they brought them back from over here, okay? Showed you this picture. Look at 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 this. These are all so-called indigenous people in which they was captured and brought to the Europe. Well, let's keep going. Now, I got thousands of these pictures. Now, we can do this shit for days. More, they go to feather crown. They go, yeah. I don't. She ain't got the traditional. What? Well, then again, that is the grass. Some of them, like the one, some of them got colors in them. So you know. Here we go again, America. These people are not looking like the traditional Native Americans. They don't have the two braids in their hair, nor the straight hair like the so-called Mongoloids. What we see now. Here we go. Now look, you see these. Now, now we see how his hair is. He ain't got no straight hair. He just got long hair to where he brushed it down to where it looked like this. Black sister, African-American, or so-called African-American, but really Aborigine. Got a gold, got a chains on, shining like we always do. Virginia Freeman got the same thing on. Okay. Here we go. Same thing, smoking a pipe. Melanated brother got his, got his um, feathers on or whatever. Took the um, Confederacy or whatever the fuck um, uniform he got on. You see more in the back with the same thing. They clowning them because they these people didn't have power at that point in time. And like he said, guns was not created when they first got here. The gun wasn't created till the 1700s. So when they first got here, they was getting their ass whooped because we had bow and arrows. So them bow and arrows was, was banging on people, man. We know Gory Island was a um, myth. Or whatever. I just actually throw, threw this up there just for some of you. Good shout outs to Johnny Aborigine or whatever. Um, you know, I'm gonna read a little bit. Say the official story turns out to be a large myth. Historians have agreed since the 1990s that the house was likely just a private residency that has nothing to do with slaves with the slave trade. According to University of Chicago historian anthropologist Fran, Fran, Franco Francis Francio, um, Richard. A West African scholar who has studied the slave trade uh, and say the academic debates surrounding Gori uh, Gori has largely been revisit the re, re, re whatever side and most historians today would would uh, would argue that the scale of the slave trade in Gori Island was fairly was fairly low. It said it was fairly low, and that ended in bed. I don't know what the hell it say, and f and flowed over time. Pro probably this this ceasing over time, especially after the 1750s, as captures were increasingly retained into Senegal to work in food in food production. There was slavery on the island, but of a, of a much different kind of chattel slavery that was established on plantations in Caribbean and America. Alright, so they saying that basically 
just because you hear that this was a slave island don't mean that the same slaves or the same people came to the Americas. All right, these are some locks that they found in America. They found these locks, and I know locks don't mean that you black, but who wearing locks now? Who the majority of people wearing locks now? Okay, here we go. More images of Europe. That same pipe, same brass skirt, same feather crown on. Okay, this is in Europe, okay? This is what they call an Indian. Why don't he look like an Indian? Why don't he got curly, non-ether hair? More images of, I guess this is what they gave you when they came over here with these fucking Bibles or whatever. When they came back over here to have you bow down to cap to the Catholics or whatever, you know. But, like I said, it's a lot. The images and the Mayan pyramids, more dreadlocks. These people was giving sacrifices, though. So they got, you know, I, I heard, I actually heard that the original um, so-called Mayans, was a mixture of when the Chinese dynasty came here and the original Aborigines were saying that they was practicing these, these sacrifices so they exiled them to um I, I heard that the people from the, the the Mayans who was the mix with that looked like they have Asians they was transported to the Philippines because of the blood sacrifice before because of the blood sacrifices and the blood shit that they was doing. So more pictures of America's And they go more pictures. So, you know, man, look, man. I mean, I think I showed y'all enough images, man, of what I got. Like I said, I got plenty more images. I just, you know, I just want to just keep putting this out there because people are apparently idiotic when they see stuff. They don't know the difference from, like, you know, they showing you, they giving you straight images, man of what they found over here and people just keep on dismissing them. Oh, that's not a that's not a um American or that's an Indian or whatever. Like I said, these people came here at first, they was humble after sixteen nineteen or after they feel they felt like they could take over or they was warring with certain tribes because they had the help of the other tribes to help them. Okay? So like I said, man the stuff is straightforward, man. I don't even have, like I said, I don't even show the images of Native Americans no more. Because I'm looking for these people right here that was on, that was, like he said, Power Hotten Empire went 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles is a long fucking way. Like he said, it went from Florida, I'm thinking to the Mississippis. I'm thinking to the Mississippis. I'm thinking it went all the way from Virginia to Florida to the Mississippis. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? So... Look, man, I just wanted to touch on this video, man. Um, you know, like I said, I've done videos like this in the past, but we, we got to start focusing on who are these people right here. Because these people do not look like the Native Americans that everybody keeps showing, that everybody keeps trying to compare to black people. Yeah, some of us do look like these so-called um, Native Americans. Some of them might have a mixture of us in them, but we are not them. We need to be looking for the, the Aborigines. That's what we need to be looking for. So, with that being said, man, I got to go. Got things to do. Um, have a blessed day to all the Aborigines, all the Tontinous people in North America. Comment, like, subscribe. Please come in peace. Please stop leaving these negative comments. But, you know, we need we need a balance. We need the different polarities or whatever. So, when you do come with the negativity, I'm just going to delete you from now on. So, with that being said, I am the Tontinous one, and I'm out. Peace.